What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off, uh, this Ottoman stack wandered just a bit too close to our lines and we are going to intercept them to allow us to destroy um, this stack of troops. They do have some quite interesting infantry choices such as the Royal Constantinople Infantry Guards. I think it's worth doing to just neuter this stack before it can do anything dangerous and go behind our lines and also to finish off this last stack here that had already been attacked so further ado let us attack fighting our way across scandinavia as well as now fighting against the ottoman empire and depending on how things go Eden, as i've already conquered a large part of their homeland and i probably want to get my infantry such as it is over here because I have no artillery I would like to dominate a reasonably flat bit of ground actually hold on, let's test because that's all like impassable terrain so I keep some troops back here as a bit of a a guard these guys probably need to fill out my left flank my howitzers are going to be my quarterbacks as per usual with their quick climb and then our cavalry needs to uh, be ready to hop in and save the day obviously my General needs to come back. My grenadiers need to come back. And my howitzers, when they open up, need to be definitely prioritizing the most dangerous troops, although somewhat hindered by what's within range. Because right now there's lots of Seminese and Muslim got lots of infantry of cavalry down on the flank. But let's set you guys. Let's hit the Mamelukes first and foremost, because the levy, I'm not really concerned about. Um, I'd probably. The guys on this flank are going to be very. in for a bit of a surprise. So much so, you guys might actually go after the cavalry. Generally, the cavalry is the focus. For now. If we can do some good damage to their, the bulk of their cavalry, the, uh, the infantry will... The infantry will be cut down fairly easily. Good stuff. The more damage we do to their cavalry, the less they can damage our formations before their infantry show up. Like these Muslims, they're not a problem unless my infantry get forced into squares from their cavalry, which it looks like that's what's going to happen. So in the front line, get ready. Let's pick new... Quick line targets. You three are probably all, all, almost certainly going to need to drop into square. Well, you two will at least. You are likely to as well from that unit coming in. Redirect our quick line fire. Inform square. key here is that these guys stay in square. If they can stay in square. <sighs> Wasted a barrage there aiming at targets that are too close. You guys hit the Mamelukes and then these guys can probably stand to come back here. It's a lot of men. 
so much so I could probably stand charge some of my own cavalry into them. Stay in square. So let's flank it, Semini. Probably could do with something like this happening. Okay, new quick climb targets kind of have to be some of these chaps coming in from the rear. Get you guys back into square. Get you guys into line. Sure, we'll have to get ready to engage these Muslim. Cavalry's going to go. Some of my cavalry's going to go on a bit of a flanking run. You guys drop into square as well. It's going to be a bit tight. No, no fire at will. Marines get stuck in. Line infantry come over here as well. Get stuck in. My cavalry push through. This line infantry unit charge into their flank. You charge into the flank of these Muslim. Didn't really want you to bump into the Feline. Quick line set some shots against these infantry guardsmen charge those guys into the muslim you guys charge into the semini make sure my general's back here if i can get my cavalry around this massive block of infantry want to run them into the back of this combat if I possibly can you guys leg it because you're about to A get shot at and B get charged by pikemen so just run these guys are pouring fire into the simony which is fine Some enemy reinforcements coming on, but I'm not worried about them. If you guys can get a good hit into the back of these guys. You guys need to drop into square as well. Charge that light infantry to them. You guys both kill those Muslim. Cavalry keep on running. Unit killed. Okay, you go after the Zamandai horsemen as well. We need to start to really do some good damage to these guys. How it says, keep knocking on the doors of those. Infantry guards. Keep charging them up. They've got some Mameluke Cavernier. We've got several Regiment of Horse. Get you guys back in to pound the Feleen. You guys can now form up and begin engaging their infantry block in a manner at which you are accustomed. There's my cavalry charging in. Don't worry about those Semini. My cavalry's hit. The back of their formation. It's my guys routing. 
comes there as Zars coming in. Let's get quick climb doesn't uh, okay, quick climb focus via the pikemen before they get into position. Janissaries are coming around the flank, which is really not what I wanted to have to see happen. You charge into the rear of the Yosemite, try and make them rout. There's not many left. There you go. So all Semini minus cavalry. You guys form up to engage that new unit. Regiment of horse hit the general's bodyguard. These guys can just pour fire onto them. That's all they can do. You guys form up. You guys continue to engage. You go engage the armatures at the back, or whatever they're, however they're pronounced. You guys hit the Nizam. Pikeman coming in. This wing need to fall back. You charge into those guys. Charge my infantry on. There we go. Push you guys up, form a new line. Knock them out just so they're knocked out. Then pull back. Fair to say, this force is pretty knackered. You charge that Semini unit that's decided to come back. How it is it still firing like a good one? Come on, infantry, you need to reload and start pouring fire into the. Semat Janissary is coming around the flank. Let's limber this Howitz unit up before you guys can attempt to cover the withdrawal. Push up against that unit that's holding out there. Quick climb's gone in. Perfect timing. Pick a new target, which is probably going to be round shot and aim at long distance. Send my general in just to make sure. You guys form up against this Royal Constantinople Infantry Guards. You guys actually let's pick 34, 22, 55. You pick the weakest unit to continue to chase down the Semini. Let's bring up the rest of my cavalry. Generals having a great time with the Semat. Watch Semat, Chemat, one or the other. Okay, let's create. No, don't chase. This has been a a bloody. This is a bloody battlefield. They may escape us today. I will actually, I'll pick you. Go straight for the foot artillery because you're the weakest unit. Only one of our howitzers are firing, which is great news. And it's firing round sharp. There you go. Fire it well.
At least one of them is reloaded. This middle guy does not fancy it. It looks like they were trying to go after my general when it comes to engaging. There he goes. At least the second gun is now up and firing as well. Granted, the uh, quality of troops they're engaging is quite low. Because that's a semi unit from the reinforcements that have just been obliterated. And they're about to walk into my musket line. Let's bring my cavalry over. Where is my general? Still going after him. Yep, so they have fallen. And these other semini, they will fall as well. So let's just supervise some of the destruction of the rear units. Artillery teams destroyed. going to continue to halt the artillery fire and then just then just triple speed it because right now uh, let's just uh, do some damage so I'm not really after the Seminese in particular but I'm not I'm not too bothered about making sure 100% optimize because right now I've not got the the strength of cavalry to really do that so I'm I'm happy with killing what we can get especially if they're a nearly destroyed unit and you are over here to help attack the larger force I oh, can only got two men left so one of you is here I think there must might have been both of them there That's what you really want. For these big spread out units, you need multiple units of cavalry to be the most effective. These guys might actually knock out the Nizam. Oh, one guy made it. This is part of the reason why you sometimes need lots of cavalry. Eh, just because these spread out units are a real pain to make sure you kill. That's why I'm not trying to optimise General's fight yet until this one is done. And there's a guy over here anyway, he's probably going to escape. Yep, yeah, there he goes. But that's a good win for us. He is now badly damaged. Down to a thousand men. In the vast majority of places. Oh god. Do not intercept. Okay, the Balkans need reinforcement, but at the same time, that's why we were building up the uh, the strength in Greece. That's why that's now a territory we can we can exploit. And obviously, Sweden is now not as much of a problem as it used to be. I mean, if they put their mind to it, they could bust straight through our line in Paris, but it looks like. They've been thrown so off tilt by the loss of their home province that they might actually be ooh, attempting to try and counter invade me. Interesting. I wonder what my naval situation is in Great Britain. Probably not strong enough to fight off all of those navies at once, uh, but that is something that can be remedied. They are growing strength on the on uh, Sardinia. That will need to be that will need to be dealt with for now. Um, but I'm also kind of happy with to just let them uh, sit blockaded in their port. So yeah, we've got the Swedish on the northern route, which is why we are pushing forces up. 
the road, not directly into their sights, but because you want to get a bit of turn of replenishment. If we sit just, actually if we sit about here, they won't be able to outright go around us, but next turn we will be in range to engage them. Um, how am I, have I turned? Yeah, I'm turning you into a church school. Our navy is replenished. So then I can deposit you. Ooh, what's the better priority? Okay, you guys can replenish. You guys can become a global trading company. Let's move this sloop over to Glasgow to keep them to keep them safe. Okay, so we are We've got some good recruitment down here in Portsmouth. Could look at trying to. Well, there it looks like there isn't any steamships in this game. Three seconds and a third. Okay, let's fill that out with a couple more seconds. Let's do some upgrading. So Norway, which we've upgraded. Probably want to send one of these militia units to Bergen. Sadly, though, we're not going to start converting until we get rid of this priest. Lots of steam-powered mills. Let's upgrade the steam engine factory in Algiers. So right now I am happy to just let them... Just to keep them bottled up. That's quite a significant uh, expansion. Ah, uh, yes, you fellows. I remember you. So this army that's currently sitting in Paris... Signore. You are destined for a new Rodi, target. Hey, your target is to pick up these howitzers... As well as probably, you have no cavalry. Okay, well you have guns, so we can start to march you south while picking up a unit of heavy cavalry, and then you can they can catch up on the they can catch up on the march south. Whereas here in Madrid. Build up a core of infantry. I can't build any more Grenadier Guards. Let's build some line infantry. We can build some cavalry there, but I suppose, I think, the best shout is to start recruiting some elite infantry back here at Lisbon if we get the time and then ship them forward to Madrid. Oh, we've got a militia unit. We can march you into position without, without compromising one of our ports. Got to be very careful with this situation because it wouldn't take too much for them to push a navy or push an army against me and actually do a lot of damage. To be honest, we need our navy to be spread out in a lot more places. I mean, well, basically, we just need more navies. That's what we need. Um, okay. So if I can march you here, ideally, and then attack this chap. That'd be, that would be one of my objectives. You fall back. To Athens rapidly. Replenish what you can. You can't build a fort for some reason. But what I do want to do, God, it's a lot of militia. Let's take these 12 pounders out. And let's replace them with 24s. Let's take out your weakest unit. Of cavalry, which is this dragoon unit, replace them with this regiment of horse, An infantry and line guard unit, weakest infantry, basically the weakest infantry units, flat, I guess. It's, it's these two. 49 strong, the first regiment of foot, and the sixth grenadiers. You guys come back to base, be replaced by a colonial line and a guard infantry unit. And you're probably going to get another howitzer unit with you anyway. It does mean you, my fellows, need another brace of infantry. So am I still at war with Russia? I am. Major nations, Russia. They want Savoy? No, because I don't want to give them any territory behind my lines. I could 
give them the Windward Islands. The Leeward Islands. Hmm. The reason why that's tempting is because if I put a French... Oh, no, no, the Turks... No, no, that's the... Oh, the Turks do have a port here in Sinop. Let's do a bit of a skirmish. So I want a fairly good navy here to block this passage, because otherwise these guys would all march west. The name of the game, though, I think, is probably multiple smaller navies like this and attempt to try and dominate their coastal areas. Because right now we don't have that level of domination. I mean, that would be a great trade route to raid. They do have a capable navy as well, so there's no guarantees that these guys will be left alone. But it may be worth the raid. Hmm. that goes to the capital. Although actually I did just raid their capitals. No, oh no, there it is. Oh, it's because it's going into Izmir. So if I sit there and raid... Well, to be honest, I could just do that and get... I could get some of their naval income, but I'd rather actually just break their navy or break their port to reduce that income. Tech advances, top uh, preserved foods becomes top gallants, and abolition of slavery becomes shortened carbines, which is not what we want. Top gallants, no. You instead get on to actually, there's not a lot to get. Okay, Bologna, you're definitely not doing shortened carbines. That's a big waste. You want to go to mass production to reduce recruitment costs across the board. Verona, you are going to carry on probably with carronades. No, Sevilla carry on with carronades. Verona, you get on with probably machined rifling. Although the increase in speed would be quite good as I'm competing in the navy. I don't want to get shrapnel shot yet to get that because of that upkeep, upkeep cost. So I might go for machined rifling. Hmm. Might just get short on carbines just because no one else is doing it. It's a six, six turn tech. So you're going to carry on recruiting. Um, I'm going to blockade this port because that army specifically marched to this port. So they are definitely an immediate threat. But I do need more forces in the area. Because they've got a fleet here with troops. They've got a fleet up here with troops. They've got a couple of good fleets, realistically. Turkey is the is the problem, but what I could do, it will take a bit of time to get down here. You can't recruit anything but provincial, provincial cavalry, which isn't great. Start some horse guard artillery recruitment. I don't want to leave Istanbul unprotected, but that leaves me with two armies here that might actually be able to do something interesting in this manner. Could I push you along west? Demand the surrender of the city. Now we've captured Bulgaria. That's given us a better zone of... given us more visual, uh, visuals on what's going on. Uh, you're not building anything, so you can build a church school immediately. Then what I'd like to do is come and fight you. Really. But first, I want to just check my... I mean, I can't do anything about these guys, really. I mean, I could kill them with a navy. But my navy is otherwise occupied in the region. You are... St yeah. This navy is expanding. This navy isn't even a navy. I mean, it's not a very good navy. Like, it's all just low-tier ships. And one second-rate ship. Yeah, the hope is they don't make it to Madrid in one turn. 
That's why we're recruiting, mass recruiting infantry. Yeah, worst comes to the worst, I can try and export some from Edinburgh. Because I could land in Bilbao, but even then they won't get there in a turn either. Hmm. I'm not, over, I'm not so overly concerned about it that I feel like I should move troops. Dublin, you can probably stand to lose the seminary now. You've got a militia. They can get there in one turn. The question is, you might actually have to recruit. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to recruit infantry. Three infantry and a pike unit. The next to your unit, you can get straight there. You might be able to recruit a unit of artillery that can crawl up to Madrid. That is good to me. Um, but what I need to do is take... Ooh, Big frame rate drop there. Take this fella. Mr. Contarini. March south of this army. And then... Oh! Out of movement points. Okay, let's hit end turn. As our priests march onward to spread the good word in the Middle East. Let's see how successful they are at that. Yeah, the Prussians are going to carry on raiding towards the Ottomans, and that is good news for us. They're already moving men north. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to fight it. Come on, auto-resolve. Yes! Oh, uh, we lost three ships, but they lost a lot more than us. <laughs> okay, there's a second-rate ship that's going to blockade somewhere semi-important. Nope, just return to base. Ah, they can get to the city in one turn. Ah, oh, this is going to be... This is not going to be good fun, because they can definitely get in, and we've not got very good troops, but we do have a bunch of mortars that can fire quick climb. So hopefully we can just de decimate the bulk of their regular dudes. This isn't going to be fun, but this is only a temporary setback. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the probable loss of Madrid, but it's likely recapture in due course. Cheers, everyone.